Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on IT Dot Tutorials. I am Josef Botner. I'm continuing the series of uh, tutorials regarding to this project, uh, School Registration System. This project is done using Visual C Sharp and Microsoft SQL Server 2019. This is the last but one video tutorial of uh, this project, uh, School Registration System. Actually, only uh, one uh, tutorial left to do. Uh, it is... Uh, about uh, de deploying this uh, application, distributing uh, this application, which uh, I'm going to do it in next tutorial. So this is the last uh, but one uh, tutorial, and the goal of this tutorial is uh, to design this uh, form uh, login and uh, to make the code behind this uh, pattern login uh, exit, and uh, also to make the code uh, which uh, the user will be authorized after. Uh, uh, they uh, fill in these two text boxes, a uh, username and password, and another uh, method uh, called authorize uh, administrator, uh, which will authorize the administrator uh, after uh, he will uh, fill in these uh, two uh, text boxes on this form uh, login. So uh, I have done uh, all uh, what uh, is uh, related uh, to this form, the code I mean behind this form and behind these buttons, login, exit. And also I have already done the, the, uh, those two methods, uh, authorize user and authorize uh, administrator. Now uh, just I'm going to give you all the explanation needed to understand how uh, this code works, how this uh, login form uh, uh, works and also how uh, the code behind this button logout uh, works and how uh, you can uh, enable uh, or you uh, uh, can unenable this uh, button admin because this button admin uh, must be in, uh, used uh, or accessed uh, only by administrator. This button uh, must not uh, be uh, allowed uh, to be accessed by uh, ordinary uh, user yeah all right so uh, let's go first here in uh, microsoft sql server 2019 and uh, here uh, uh, i want to tell you that uh, i create this uh, table uh, tbl admin which has these two columns uh, admin and uh, password let me to look uh, for the design of this table it should be here somewhere all right no, it's not here, but uh, that is not a problem. Right click and click on design. So as you can see, uh, this table has uh, these two columns, admin and uh, password. The admin actually will uh, store the name uh, of the admin and the password, as uh, the name uh, says, uh, will uh, store the uh, password. The admin, as you can see, is the primary key of uh, this uh, table. That means the name of the admin can be unique. They, uh, so you cannot repeat the same uh, name inside the table. Yeah, because uh, an application can have more than one administrator. And uh, that's why I uh, made this uh, column as a primary uh, key uh, to uh, not allow someone uh, to uh, repeat the name for administrator, which is uh, not a good practice. The name for, of administrator sh should be, must be uh, unique. All right, and uh, already I uh, insert the name for administrator. I use this uh, name. Uh, you can use uh, any name here. I use the admin and the password uh, admin uh, with um, capital A. And here uh, at the end of this uh, name, uh, triple uh, two. All right. And uh, also I have done a few store procedure here in order to uh, be used uh, for uh, authorize uh, the or validate the administrator and the user so let's uh, uh, take this one first so uh, this is the procedure which will validate the user so it should be here somewhere uh, yeah it, it is about this uh, procedure yeah this is the name is user valid which has these two parameters username and the password here i declared uh, the type of this uh, parameter is user uh, uh, valid which is bit bit is the smallest uh, type uh, has two values uh, zero and uh, one uh, here uh, this uh, parameter is set to zero or uh, false and if uh, these conditions i mean these uh, two parameters uh, username uh, uh, or these two fields of this uh, table uh, 
uh, of a user table, uh, username and password are met, are fulfilled, uh, that uh, means uh, this uh, parameter will be set to one or true. And uh, on this line, this parameter will be returned either a zero or false or one uh, or uh, true. So zero is uh, uh, false and one is uh, true. And uh, these two values will be returned by this uh, parameter on this uh, line. Uh, this parameter either will return zero, which means uh, uh, false, or one, uh, which means uh, true. Uh, the same uh, works uh, this uh, store procedure. Um, it is about this one. Is admin valid, which uh, has the goal uh, to uh, validate the administrator. It should be here uh, somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it is a. Uh, no, this is the uh, user is user uh, valid, so uh, no uh, problem. So let me to release it. Click on modify, and here you go. Uh, this is the name of this uh, procedure. Is uh, admin uh, valid? Here uh, I declare these two uh, parameter admin and password. Here uh, I declared for this parameter the type a bit, which has two values, as I told you, 0 or 1. Uh, on this line, this parameter is set to 0 or false. If uh, this condition, I mean the admin and the password, are met after uh, the administrator will enter uh, his, pass his name and password, will be uh, met, uh, this uh, parameter will, set, will be set to 1 or true, and on this line the value of this parameter will be returned, which can be either 0, which means uh, false, uh, or 1, which means uh, true. All right, so let's go now inside the uh, Visual uh, Studio, and uh, first of all, let's go inside this uh, class uh, user, and here, uh, we have, uh, I created these two uh, methods which will authorize the user and the admin. So the first one is this uh, public uh, and the type uh, boolean, which uh, with this name authorize the user, uh, that means uh, this method will authorize the user, and another method with the same type bool uh, will authorize the administrator with this name uh, authorized administrator uh, authorized admin yeah so let's talk about uh, about the first method our authorized uh, user and uh, here I declare this uh, boolean uh, variable yeah and um, here is the connection string uh, the object used to uh, make the connection and here the object uh, created uh, to uh, store the uh, store procedure and the uh, parameters uh, which I'll uh, edit uh, on this uh, code uh, line. Uh, this uh, method execute scalar actually uh, will execute uh, all this uh, query and this uh, stored uh, procedure and will return uh, the value of this stored procedure. If the value return is uh, zero, that means is false, will be stored by this uh, Boolean variable which was declared on this line and uh, it will be returned uh, here to the end of this method, of this method authorized uh, user. If uh, the value of this variable is true, uh, the uh, user is uh, enabled to uh, log in, will be uh, log in and uh, will be able to use the uh, application actually. Here, uh, inside the login uh, form, uh, this method is called, uh, inside this method, uh, uh, btn login exit with this uh, event click uh, which is behind this uh, bat button uh, login yeah here you go yeah and the method is called uh, here authorize user if uh, the value returned by this method is uh, true uh, this part of code inside this if conditional statement will be executed here actually i create this object uh, uh, using this uh, partial class, which is related to this uh, form, the main form, which uh, I call the uh, dashboard, yeah, and uh, this uh, code of line, uh, this uh, uh, dot hide will hide the login form uh, after the user uh, is logged in, yeah, and um, on this code of line. Uh, the property enabled of this button btn admin will be set to false that means uh, this uh, button will uh, not be uh, accessible enabled 
for the ordinary user yeah i mean this button so this button if the ordinary user is uh, able to log in will not be uh, accessible uh, the ordinary user cannot access this button because this will be unenabled only the administrator is uh, able to access uh, this uh, button all right this is the uh, meaning of this uh, code uh, line here all right if this method return uh, false uh, actually the compiler will go uh, here and we'll uh, execute this uh, message box uh, with this method show and we'll uh, display this uh, text uh, unauthorized credentials uh, provided yeah all right so uh, another method is uh, authorized uh, admin which uh, has the same functionality as uh, authorized user so it works uh, the same uh, the difference is the store procedure used is this uh, store procedure is admin valid uh, which will uh, validate the uh, administrator yeah uh, also the uh, method will return uh, the value of this boolean uh, uh, boolean uh, variable which can be uh, false or uh, true yeah uh, the variable was declared uh, on this uh, code line this uh, method uh, is uh, called uh, here uh, inside uh, login form uh, authorized uh, admin if uh, the this method return uh, true uh, this code uh, will be executed uh, the uh, logging form will be hidden uh, the main form will be show uh, shown uh, using this show uh, method it is about this uh, uh, form and uh, the btn admin uh, button will be enabled because the property is set to true that means uh, uh, only the administrator is able to access uh, this uh, uh, this uh, button yeah if the return of this method is false uh, you will receive the same uh, message this uh, unauthorized credentials uh, provided all right also uh, here uh, inside this login form i declare this uh, private uh, uh, class uh, variable or obg uh, user using this type uh, user a class uh, is a type so we can uh, create our, our own uh, types uh, using the uh, class here i uh, i have done this meta user data which will collect the username and the password from this uh, form uh, login from these two text uh, boxes yeah and um, uh, here actually uh, this uh, password on uh, login form if uh, this uh, checkbox is uh, checked the password will be shown in these uh, text boxes if uh, this uh, uh, checkbox is uh, unchecked uh, so the password will be hidden yeah and uh, i used uh, this code uh, to show or uh, hide the uh, password actually uh, here on this login form i used for this uh, text box uh, this proper this property uh, use the system password char which uh, was set uh, to true and not uh, this uh, property which is used uh, mostly uh, password char so again i use this property uh, use system password uh, char set to true in order to be able uh, to create uh, this code to show and hide the uh, password actually when uh, that the checkbox uh, will be checked uh, this property uh, your system password char will be set to false uh, that uh, means uh, the uh, password uh, will be shown we, we are going to be able to sh to see the password uh, if uh, the uh, checkbox is unchecked uh, this property your system password char will be set to true that uh, means the uh, password will be hidden uh, from uh, us all right and here is the btn button is the code b behind this button exit uh, i use this method to uh, exit the application that uh, the application uh, to be terminated completely if you don't use this uh, method if you are going to use close your uh, application is not terminated completely it will be hang on uh, uh, memory uh, till uh, you will uh, uh, shut down the computer so that's why uh, it is recommended to use this method exit to terminate the application completely yeah all right so uh, i think this is all 
yeah this is uh, all let's um, see how uh, this application works just i remembered uh, one uh, more information uh, you have to go in this file program because here you have this static void main uh, static void main method which is the main method all the classes uh, are executed uh, through this method yeah so that's why you have to write here the login form name which is in here, uh, which is uh, living inside this uh, file, you take this uh, name and uh, paste it in here. Why? Because uh, the form which uh, should be released when the application is released uh, is uh, this login form, uh, must be the uh, login form, yeah? Okay, so let's uh, release this application. And as you can see, the uh, login uh, the login form was uh, released. Let's uh, release a CQ server as well, and let's see who, uh, where is the table for users. Is this one? Yeah, I've got uh, two users as you can see: Josef Botnar and Carmen Botnar. So now I'm gonna to uh, write the name of uh, user Josef Botnar. Let's uh, check this uh, checkbox and to show the password. Yeah, as you can see, when I checked uh, this, uh, the password was uh, shown. I I'm going to uncheck this. The password is hidden, as you can see. Now I check again this. The password is shown again. So let's click on Login. Here you go. The application is uh, released, as you can uh, see. Because uh, this is a uh, ordinary, uh, ordinary user, this admin button can not be accessed uh, by this user. So this button cannot be accessed by ordinary user, yeah, just by administrator. But the uh, user, uh, the normal uh, regular user can access uh, these uh, features. Uh, student can add, save, update, delete, and can uh, release the data of uh, students. Also the teacher uh, can uh, add, save, update, delete, and uh, release the data of uh, teachers, uh, also the fee form, and the reports can uh, create uh, reports for teachers, students, fees, and uh, so on. Yeah, uh, but uh, the ordinary user cannot uh, use this button admin, all right? So uh, now I'm going to press, uh, click on uh, this log out button. As you can see, uh, the main form disappeared and uh, this login form came up uh, again. And now if I want to exit, uh, I press the exit button. If I don't press the exit button, if I close the application from uh, this close button here, let's go back uh, in Visual Studio. As you can see, the application is st still running. This is the problem if you don't uh, close the application from exit button. So the application is not uh, terminated completely. Yeah, it's still running uh, in background. So uh, I would uh, recommend you to uh, close this application use, uh, using this exit button. Click on exit. And now, as you can see, the application was terminated completely. Let's release it again. And now let's uh, enter another user, uh, the same user, Josef uh, Potner. And now uh, let's write a uh, wrong password. Yeah, let's uh, show the password. So the password uh, is wrong, as you can see. So press on the login button. Here you go, unauthorized credentials provided. Okay, yeah. So let's try now to log in the administrator. Yeah, here is the table for administrator. And let's uh, write the name of the administrator, which is admin, and the password uh, admin triple two yeah and uh, if i uncheck uh, the password is uh, hidden if i check the password is shown click on login and here you go uh, the app is uh, launched uh, now you can see this button is enabled for administrator yeah click on admin because here is the form for register user just the administrator must be able to register a user to give uh, them the password and the user uh, name yeah 
now uh, you can see how this button works so only the administrator is uh, able to uh, access this button but also the uh, administrator can access all these features uh, he has the the whole rights to use uh, this uh, uh, application yeah include uh, this uh, button uh, administrator if the administrator wants to log out just click on this button and uh, the administrator is uh, locked out now and click on exit button to exit uh, this uh, application that uh, the application to be terminated completely so uh, this is all uh, about this uh, application this project which is quite a, a big uh, project uh, so I, I try to find a, a playlist uh, uh, of my uh, project school uh, registration system yeah uh, here you go it is this one yeah start the project so look here 53 tutorials hi guys welcome to another so this is a big uh, project very big uh, project 53 tutorials this one will be the 54 and the last one uh, which uh, will be about uh, deploying this application will be 55 so the code uh, regard to this application uh, i'm going to put it uh, on uh, a website which i'm going to make it next week uh, depend on my uh, free time and uh, you will be able uh, to download uh, the code for this uh, project uh, from uh, my own uh, website so uh, this is a big uh, project you will be uh, if you have the patience uh, to go through this uh, project you will be able to create an enterprise database application using uh, Visual C Sharp and uh, CQ Server. So uh, anyone can uh, watch and uh, will understand this project because I start with a beginner uh, knowledge and uh, step by step uh, I uh, raise the level uh, to intermediate and advanced to the end of this uh, uh, project. So anyone can uh, understand this uh, project in my opinion so uh, thank you for watching this uh, video tutorial uh, see you next time bye bye